we lost a son to cancer uh, uh, about five years ago, which re- has really rocked us and our whanau. And it's been a really tough journey. And when you're new to this, to to standing in front of this black door of grief, um, you think, how the hell am I going to get through this? You know, and what shape will I be? What is? It's like losing a limb. And 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 how do I move forward? My son's passing was quite a public thing uh, because of my um, profile here in New Zealand. Still doing a lot of television over here, been in the, in the entertainment business in this country for many, many years. You're never the same. Um, and you don't move on, you just move forward. And there's quite a difference in that. And um, it really sucks. Um, there's too many people in this in this club of ours that uh, lose our children or tamariki to all sorts of different things. I said to the kazis, I said to the tribe, all the tribes, I said to the tribes, I says, hey, you know the deal? Uh, our boy's flown away. There's a whole heap of kids up at that hospital in Auckland and in Wellington and in Brisbane and in Sydney and in bloody Cairns who were struggling. So I just wanted to do some positive stuff around supporting other families who are going through similar challenges, really. And Make-A-Wish is a, a wonderful organisation that um, that help children and families who are facing real challenges with their health and stuff. So Make-A-Wish, we wanted to raise some money and we ended up uh, going to walk the Great Wall of China. The opportunity to travel together, you know, what a, what a bloody awesome thing, you know, to do with people who can embrace you without even touching you. And the support that we got from wider New Zealanders was huge from aunties who I don't know who threw in 20 bucks to corporate to threw in a heck of a lot more. So, you know, and even in our little group who went to China, um, Oh, that's right. It's not just me. It's other people who, who are facing this incredible challenge. I think it's the biggest challenge any human being could um, could stand in front of. Travel is just, just a wonderful thing to remind us how lucky we are, even in this crazy, crazy world. But you know, things like cars or, or my my beautiful young niece who's getting the latest iPhone and that that stuff just does not matter. You have a reality check when you see the challenges that a lot of families have to face.